What is going on you lot? Welcome to the video. It is a bit dark out here, isn't it? It is Sunday the something something of something something. Um, I'm just waiting for Aisha to come to Sainsbury's and we are having a barbecue today. We're having a chilled barbecue. I had a really busy day yesterday so I need to chill that one today. And uh, I've got a Subway salad to have in the car as well while Aisha is coming back from Super Drug. How am I feeling on a scale of one to 10? Solid eight today. Solid eight. You know, bollocks. So this stuff is the sun cream I've been using. La Roche. All the sun cream that they usually make um, me use are like literally like thick cement, but I found one that is really, really good and it's that stuff. I mean, it probably isn't cheap. Probably isn't cheap, but it's worth it because the thick cement stuff is horrible. It's like you're white afterwards because I'm really at risk of developing new little lesions, like new little um, moles and stuff. This is, why I, this is why my wife is amazing. Look at her doing this. Why wouldn't anyone do this? This. And especially on my head as well, I need to put sun cream on because that, that flesh has not been seen, not seen sunlight since, well, ever, because I've always had hair. When, even when I came out of my mum, I had a full head of um, hair. By the way, future reference, Lidl is better than Audi. One thousand percent. The drama of Lidl stresses you out like big time. Do you not think, Aish? No, Lidl's for neighbour. All that. Anyone who knows Aisha knows that if we're going food shopping, we have to always come to this bloody place. She loves Marks and Spencer. She's obsessed. It's like the best thing ever. And well, you yeah. get a voucher for my expense as well. Got myself a new gadget. Hopefully this will uh, cheer me up. I don't know, I've been wanting this for ages and, and it's probably really boring, but... Come see what the hype's about, babe. Oh, it's the big one. I got the new, well, it's not new. It's it was kind, of, not, kind of new. 80 quid for a tripod, but I'm committing oh, to it. Oh. Most of these, the Gorilla Pods don't actually last. I've had about four, and they last about two months. So this one better last, it's the Top Dog one. I bought the really, Ooh, yeah. They're a little bit she first. Was, well, some woman got well stressed me because I would uh, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I cannot cut sugar out totally because I love Kiwis. What is going on your lot? It is uh, my Monday morning, band day back holiday. And today, I'm actually feeling really quite good. My face is feeling better than what it has done. It's been feeling a bit like, 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 like my nerve endings in my face has gone a bit here. Like my nerve endings have gone a bit like when you wake up with a dead arm and then it starts to come back and then you get that feeling of like weird, skin sensation coming back that is what it's like anyway it is five to ten i still haven't taken any drugs so i need to take my steroids treatment first pain meds and steroids So in a matter of waking up, in an hour, I've drunk a whole one of those to get the meds down. That is quite a lot. I wonder if there is a thing as too much water. So tomorrow is my results day for my CT scan. So we're keeping busy. We really want to keep busy. Uh, don't want to be thinking about that until we have to worry about it, which is tomorrow. How am I feeling about it? I'm feeling all right. I'm, you know, side effects feel all right today. I'm getting anxiety a lot about things in life in general at the minute. So I don't. I don't want to let that consume me. I don't want to let that kind of become this thing that I've, I've, I've now got to deal with as well as all the cancer and the side effects of the drugs and whatever, whatever, whatever. So I need to focus on making sure that anxiety is not going to control me and, and I'm the same person every day, even though the side effects are changing. Yeah, I just need to make sure I stay in my lane, stay focused and stay positive. I think me and Aisha are going to go to the gym and then we're going to go to Bromley to do a bit of shopping. So we are going to go and train it back today, me and Aisha. Aisha. <laughs> Come on! She is leading more of the workouts. I'm teaching her how to do like the workouts on her own so we can train like 
separately and she can still do weights as well whereas at the minute she's not quite confident enough to do the weights on her own so she wants me to teach her probably that's what we're doing making sure that she knows how to lead a workout so she's leading my workouts i can barely get out of this car why i felt like i was lying down because <laughs> the gradient of this hill is steep hello you're right so warming up on the bikes i still i can actually do the bikes but very very lightly uh, just for my, for my hip, I can't obviously turn the resistance up too much because of the hip, the hip pain. Why are you laughing at me? I'm not. Uh, <laughs> she said you're laughing at me. <laughs> so once we've done a cardiovascular for about three, four minutes, then we do some muscu muscular work, as in muscular movements, which will be shoulder movements for us today, and I'll show you those, and then we'll jump on for our first exercise. Just opens up the chest a little bit. Feels quite nice to just open up the shoulder joints. Get a little bit of water warm from there. Only needs to be really, really light when you're doing the warm up. And then what I do, if I go a little bit heavier on this next one, I do one arm at a time. So I go back to three. You can also, if you find it a little bit weaker, rest it on something. So you can rest it on like a panel like that. Then last one, bicep curls just to get their warmth into biceps as well, because we'll be doing a bit of biceps today. So first movement is going to be a pull down. We start with a really light set and then we'll do three heavy sets. Just making sure it's a really slow controlled and then squeeze the bottom. And you should be targeting your laterals, which are these bits here. So next we're going to do a bent over row with dumbbells. We were going to do it with a rack and a barbell, but they'll be used. So we're going to use dumbbells instead. I'll teach you through it. It's a great movement for the lower back as well, so it keeps you nice and tight on the lower back. So I'm whack a belt on because obviously I've got tumours in my lower spine, so I don't want to risk damaging anything basically, tearing anything. I really don't want to do that. So as tight as I can around the waist, and I'm dropping the weight right down. I was doing quite a bit more on this, but I'll drop it right down. So what you do, I've got quite heavy weight. Bum back, soft, soft knees, and then you roll into the mid. Same. Keep your head neutral. About two meters in front of you. And then when you're done, relax your arms, stand up, and then put the weights down. Don't put the weights down while your knees are still bent. Always come up tall and then soften the knees. And that is a bent over dumbbell double arm row. I was just switching over to a barbell because um, she wasn't liking the dumbbells. So next is a seated high pulley row, so high cable row. So there is machines for this, but I prefer doing it on the cables. I'm sorry if you can't hear me on the you want to do so we're gonna do a little bit of legs but isolation movements because I can't I can't do the compound movements but Ash you can can't you? Yeah I don't know what compound is. So compound movement is more than one muscle group isolation movement is a singular muscle group being worked at a time. And why do you do it single leg? Because you told me to so I should go single leg on the um, extension machine because you've got a definite weakness in one side so she does a unilateral, which is one at a time, just to make sure she's working each leg just as hard and not pushing dominant with one, with one, one more when she does both legs, if that makes sense. If you feel like you feel like you're doing a body part in a workout and it doesn't feel, you're not feeling it, just change it, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't feel like you have to spend an hour and a half on one body part. Just be, be, a, bit, be a bit spontaneous. If your legs feel like they need working, then work them. You don't have to. You don't have to go by strict. A lot of people say you do that. A lot of people say you do. Yeah, I mean, bodybuilders. Yeah, you've got like a certain split. If you're just like me and you that train because we love it, 
have a bit of fun, be spontaneous. I train because it's good for my mental health, good for my anxiety that I'm getting a lot of at the minute. I just train so I can eat more. All that. So next one is the Helene hamstring curl for the back of the legs. I love this machine much more than the sitting upright ones. I just feel it a lot more. So um, I'm so glad that this pure gym has it. This is the last leg movement we're gonna do. And then we're gonna move on to one more back movement, which is rear delts. And I'll show you that in a second. Just waiting for us to get back to the loo. How's that feel? Yeah, good. So if your gym hasn't got this machine, it will be a sitting upright machine. And so you're sitting upright and then you're pushing down with your heels. Um, it's hard to explain what the machine is like, but it'll be called a hamstring curl machine. I hope this helps people. Yeah, comment down below if you like it, like the workouts or not. Just give me some feedback on it. Because working out is a big part of my day. It's probably about two hours of my day every day. And then um, sometimes feel me, but I never know if you want to see it. So we um, decided to kind of not do the last exercise because um, we're flat as a pancake now. But yeah, that was our workout for the day. We decided to get a bit of legs in as well. Um, this car, this car's making me laugh. Look at this car. I think they might have got pulled over. I think they got pulled over for having too much stuff on their car. So that was a workout for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did enjoy it. I like going to the gym. But yeah, we did we did back and legs as you saw. I hope you got some tips from that. Let me know if you want more tips, what you want to see. But there's something I want to talk about. Today was meant to be the day that I was going to be going back to work for a, like a, a kit day kind of thing. Like it was a, it was a training day for work and um, I, I decided to say, I decided to kind of go for it. But the lead up to it, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I was feeling, I was feeling awful. I was feeling like things were getting worse. Um, numbness was numbness was happening, tingling was happening, everything was just getting worse. And I don't know whether it was psychological and anxiety. Well, your hair's still falling out, so you yeah. are still getting side effects. Like you literally pick one little bit, and it's my hair is still really falling out. Thumbs up for my bald head because it's getting a lot, a lot balder. <laughs> Look at that egg head. Luckily though, my eyebrows are still there, and I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. So yeah, I don't know if it was anxiety about that or the scans results that are going to be tomorrow. I don't know what it was about, but. I, I truly believe that it was all up here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But sometimes like, with anxiety, you because I used to get it all the time. Anxiety is an illness as yeah. well. It is, a, it is a thing. And you have to acknowledge that, you, that it is anxiety and separate that. That's the hardest thing, separate the fact that it is anxiety and it's not that you're sick or yeah. you're feeling sick or you're S feeling Trying to separate the anxiety from the, the cancer is what I'm trying to do right now. But I've, I've, luckily I've, you've got a really supportive workplace. So. Really supportive workplace. I've got an amazing workplace. But today I'm feeling better. The numbness in my face is, I woke up with a, a lot, um, an improvement in my face. I've been getting kind of tingling, weird nerve sensations going all the way down here. And that seems to improve, which is fucking brilliant. I'm so happy about that. Um, things are looking good. Scan results tomorrow. We just got to power how, through. How are you feeling about your results? I'm a bit like I'm just going to. I'm a, it. I'm a bit like meh about my results. It's it's kind of a, a weird one because I've been off the TND for a month. You don't know how much it could have grown in that month. Um, but you're not in pain. I'm not in. Good. Yeah, I'm not in any pain with my hip at the minute, which is amazing. And the TND does help that, or cannabis oil, or it could be that. Who knows? Oh. No one knows. We don't know. You don't know. But yeah, scan result video will be up tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Scanxiety part two, that's what I'm gonna call it. I love you lots. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe. Thanks for your support. I should do your fang. What's that then? Say bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. But can I just say, but with um, scans, is like what I always say, you are the same person when you walk in there as you are she when you walk out. out. She's right. So she's got a point. Really, I could be Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Peace.